So I'm quite optimistic about Tableau Einstein, and you might wonder, well, Tim, why is your opinion on this so far off most of what's been in the comments of the videos that I've made about this? And yeah, if you go to the comments of the videos that I've made about this with Ravi, um, there's a lot of um, not necessarily negative sentiment, but concern and, you know, people wondering whether this is the right direction or just flat out saying, look, this isn't what they were looking for. But the reason I'm optimistic is because I've talked about this before. Um, if I come out of full screen, um, you'll see that uh, just over a year ago, I made a video about what I would like to see in a future version of Tableau. I remember the video because I recorded it three days after having an operation to remove skin cancer from my uh, shoulder area here. And um, I thought about this video pretty much for like um, the best part of 12 hours because I had nothing else to do. And I kind of just, you know, thought through this in my head and I just thought like, what would Tableau be in the future? And I made this video. And in this video, I broke down the product experience in many of the same ways that Salesforce have broken it down now. And you can see that I put many of the same components into this and I even, you know, went into talking about composable assets, essentially taking the analytical flow and letting different people sample things at different times. Um, if we go look at the video, it's probably one of my least watched videos. It's one of those things that you do and really only your core audience watches it. Um, but of those people who watched it, you know, they stayed around to the end. They, you know, I'd like to take that metric as a, as a really good way of saying, look, for the people who are interested in this topic, um, people stuck around. And uh, if I go back to what we saw from Tableau, um, they showed us this diagram and they very much played out that model. In fact, uh, I want to highlight Mark Reed's post, which nicely highlights this um, because he stuck together the two images um, from the session uh, and he kind of shows you the whole flow in, 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 in sort of its true setup. Data sources, data prep semantics, visualizations, analytics dashboards, action. If you don't follow Mark on LinkedIn, you absolutely should. His posts are sensational and his knowledge on Tableau is equally exceptional. Um, really, really talented individual. Anyway, this was exactly what I'd envisioned in the past. And that's why I've actually been saying, hey, I'm quite optimistic about these changes. The difficult thing, if we go back to this last bit, is how it's placed. You see, if I go look at the comments back in the video that I made back then, there was almost unanimous response that everything was quite positive. In fact, if I go to that video and I scroll down, you'll see that pretty much everyone thought it was a good idea. But the thing is, when you see an idea and you see someone explaining it to you without any sort of real tangible product in front of you, it conjures up a different experience. Your brain sort of fills in the remaining gaps. Your brain sort of fills in all the little details. But then when you see it presented to you with all the detail filled in, you have a little bit more to go off. And in that moment, you might actually find that the idea you like previously is not something that you you know generally support. And so I think that's what's really interesting about this new vision of Tableau, this, this setup, Tableau Einstein. Number one, what actually is it? Is this Tableau in Salesforce? Is this Tableau Cloud reimagined for the future? Is this going to be the only experience of Tableau? I don't think all of those are necessarily true. I think the answer is somewhere in between all of those, um, but I think this is yet another experience labeled as Tableau inside of the Salesforce ecosystem. Additionally, how do all of these come together? Do they share a code base? Am I gonna have to do anything to change the way I work? And there's some hints that this is happening. We've seen the uh, migration of Tableau Cloud to the Hyperforce AWS instance. That could suggest that Tableau Einstein and Tableau Cloud might share some behind the scenes uh, code and back end. But again, these are details we just don't know. And actually, that's the biggest thing. There's a lot of detail missing from what we saw in the last few days. And between now and Dreamforce, we hope, we hope that that detail starts to get filled in. And we hope that Dreamforce starts to present some of that detail. It makes natural sense. Uh, Dreamforce is just under a month away. So that would be a natural point to come and fill in all these details. But I think the fundamental question is when we look at this vision, when we look at the way this works and we look at the way that you experience it and the way it works, there's something about it that's unfamiliar to most people. And that unfamiliarity creates what I think is a barrier to actually understanding this model. And I think that's a challenge that Tableau and Salesforce have to get over. How do you make people more familiar with an experience that you've tried to make better by giving it you know, a new veneer, as it were? Or maybe, or maybe, and this is some, some, something that's a little bit more of a you know, sort of philosophical discussion, 
is this trying to change too much at once? Is it the fact that there's so much change here that all your preconceptions of how Tableau work have fundamentally changed and therefore this doesn't land? And if that's the case, then again, that's yet another challenge that Salesforce and Tableau have to solve. But I do think there's something there, you know. I don't think this vision is that far off, you know, many of the ideas that many people have thought about before. Again, I call out my previous video. In this video, we talked about many of the same concept. Tableau have taken this much, much further than I could have done. And, you know, to, to be clear, uh, individuals at Tableau are so much more intelligent than I am at putting these kinds of things together. It's one thing coming up with an idea. It's another thing coming up with the UX, U, uh, UI flow. It's another thing building in. It's yet another thing shipping the product. These things are just on another level. I'm just someone on YouTube making videos, as it were. But I do think there's something there. How is it that a lot of people liked the core of the concept, but you know when it's here in person, there's something not quite right? My opinion, I think it's something to do with the Salesforce veneer. I think it's something to do with the Salesforce Chrome. Would the reaction have been the same if this exact same concept had just been skinned in a more familiar Tableau skin, as it were? If you didn't have the Salesforce banner at the top, if we didn't go into elements of Salesforce as we started, if we didn't use Slack, all of those things that we identify as Salesforce, if those hadn't been there, would the reaction have been the same? I don't know, but I think Salesforce needs to figure that out. Anyway, this is a very short video. I just wanted to put this on the record, but I think it is an important point. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.